Good morning from the Philippines. I'm gonna get some more coffee here because I need it. Just finished up my breakfast. Sit that over there for a minute. There's some lemons over here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about this. such a close-up picture. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning or evening, wherever you are? See, I had one cup already. Here's my bonus cup. Hey, don't forget the thumbs up if you sorry about the slow internet. But welcome. So I can get the conversation started. Have mercy. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Good 
Yeah, I haven't, haven't had the shower yet. I haven't been up for too long. But I'll get in there. But anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. If you guys like to talk, come on down. Don't be shy. Sorry, my internet is spotty. I'll move here in a minute. After I finish my coffee, I'll move. My son's in the living room there with his tablet and he's playing it and I don't want him to have to stop. Mr. Jen. Huh? Come in there. I don't know what she's talking about. That's what my wife's drinking. I think it's Milo, Milo, my yuck. Hey guys, don't forget those uh, thumbs up if you come and join us. Sorry, I'm trying to wake up still. I'm trying. Sometimes my hair does what it's supposed to do, and then there's days like this. Thank you, thank you for the thumbs up. Appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out with us. Welcome, welcome. Check out the writers. We're having morning coffee. Seeing if anybody's up and uh, about. Uh, it probably won't be a very long uh, time that I stay on here. <laughs> Mid morning coffee, yes, PJB. <laughs> it's uh, trying to start the coffee thing again. The first cap didn't kick in enough, so I, this is my second. I don't know what in here is making me look like I got an orange glow on my face. I, don't, I haven't been eating cheesies or anything.
How is it going there in Montana? So you end up with the whole pot. <laughs> Yep, I wish I had like some American style coffee. Um, they say you can find it here, but I have not found it yet. I mean, I found it in cafes and places like that. Uh, I can get American style. Life as usual, right? But here, mostly what is this kind of stuff. It's a three in one. You put your hot water and then you pour it in. Now, here you have to have a coffee maker as well. Oh, I think uh, the best coffee that I like <laughs> is uh, McDonald's. <laughs> so, I don't know what that is, but. That is the type that I like. I back home I just drink, you know, black coffee, you know. But here finding just plain black coffee is is hard. <laughs> so I order it uh you know when we go to some yeah cowboy coffee style. Put it in a pot. A bowl of water, yes. I don't know if I've never had it like that. <laughs> Does that make you tougher? <laughs> do you just chew do you just chew on the coffee too? <laughs> it's like a bonus. <laughs> uh oh, here comes my wife with a gadget. She's gonna, she's gonna move the phone for me here. Depends on how much you put in. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. I think I can hold this one. This one. Hi, Mercy. PJB says. If you see her finger, that is her trying to put it on the tripod still. You put it in there. Well, this first, I adjust it. <laughs> Wondered. There she is. See, she's trying to set up the tripod. She got her headphones on, so I don't know if she's listening. <laughs> yeah, I'll sip on coffee and Mercy will sip on my quill. I'll wake up and she'll go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what she's doing here. In here, glowing. You're glowing. I'm glowing. Yeah. Dave's poems is in the house. I was about to say potion. Dave's Potion. <laughs> How you doing, my friend, Dave? Had some z the other night. Slap it to 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, it makes me feel drunk if I take it. Like, puts me in a different world. <laughs> I have some crazy dreams and stuff. And sweat all night. What are you doing? You're just too close. It's too close? Everybody likes seeing me in 3D though. Ooh, come on, say hi to everybody. She's got her headphones on, so she's not listening. Marsh, your mom's calling. Your mom's calling. So 
So I need to stop this and let you answer? No. What are you going to do? Yeah. Now that we can use the mobile phone to, uh, to, to do our live streams, you might see me in a lot of weird places now. <laughs> we'll walk around, walk around the house and I was going to go outside, but I didn't want to go outside with this hot coffee and sit in the heat. Are you about to call your mom? Of course, I'm using my wife's phone and her mom is calling, so it keeps, the screen keeps blanking, saying, Mama, Mama, incoming call. She's going to talk to her mom on the other, other thing. You know, I was told by, uh, His secret to being successful as far as taking the heat and stuff was he drank a really hot cup of coffee every morning and then uh, his body could handle the heat better that day or whatever. So I don't know. But here recently I've noticed that ah, it's not so hot. It's not so hot. You know, that kind of thing. I don't know if it's the coffee or my mindset. Came on your live stream to see how you two are doing, Bill and Mercy. Dave, we're, we're doing great, my friend. Cannot complain. We had a successful trip to Thailand, and we keep posting about it. We'll be posting about it for the next week or so as I upload the videos and edit the videos and stuff. But we cannot complain, man. God is good. Well, we could complain, but <laughs> don't help. All right. How about yourself, Dave? How how you been doing, my friend? Staying warm. I try to remember, like, you know what what the weather is back home. That's good to hear, Dave. You know, because it's all the same weather here. So it's so weird not having to change in seasons and stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I forget, you know, uh, it's, it's February now. So here by the end of March, it's going to start warming up, that kind of thing. Try to try to remember it. Oh, the the days of the winter. <laughs> Winter's past. Mike, how you doing, my friend? It popped that one down. Glad you had a safe vacation. Yeah, everything was good. Uh. I didn't sit by anybody coughing or hacking, so I did all right. I complained about the snow and the cold, but it's beautiful to to spirits, yeah. I'm blessed to live in Montana, that's for sure. That's awesome, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Now that I'm done with my coffee, I'll try to see if I can go outside here. Maybe. If I can pack everything up. Except for, I don't need to take the coffee stuff. We had a mild winter, yeah. It's good that it wasn't too bad. It's 
Just going through the living room here. Try to find my slippers to slide on because I got the uh, <laughs> time for a jog. Uh, PJB, yeah. not today. He was. It's coming though, my wife tells me. She says I'm going to start jogging. I don't know if I believe her or not. Oh, here we are outside. The other day I sat out here and watched the rats play. I wish I was joking about that. Got this so we can try to read. Only the mountains got all the snow, yeah. Yeah. Mild winter sometimes mean a uh a uh bad fire season. I wish, I mean, there's enough rats here that, uh, I don't know. I've, I've never lived in a place where rats were like cats. <laughs> you know, they'll just go strolling across your yard, just a do de do But the real worry uh, about the rats is they'll get up into the, they'll, get into your car you know to climb up into the car and uh, chew on wires and different electrical parts and yeah so that's that's our main worry about the rats here i uh God expat, how you doing my friend? There's your coffee maker right behind you. Yeah, that is a big empty box. Ten liters. Oh man, I think it does like the uh, hot water deal, so they can uh, take it to a party or something. But yeah, it's a big empty box. But who knows where that really is? <laughs> PJB, kuma style, mate. From Scott. The rats were like that in Iraq, yeah. It's, uh, it's weird. Like, when I used to come to the Philippines and really see rats for the first time, um, I was there in Manila and uh, we were driving along and it was uh, nighttime. I was like, man, that's a funny looking cat sitting there by the trash. Then all of a sudden these things started moving and I could tell it was a rat. And I was like, good lord, a rat's bigger than a cat. I was like, cats don't even try to attack the rats here, they're so big. Like why why eat on the on the rat? They'll eat on us. Sorry, I try to clean the glasses a little bit. They even, let's see, they even look different, <laughs> or is that a racist remark? Uh, it could, could be. Hey, Billy in the Philippines, how you doing, my friend? How's it been going? 
We're getting uh, getting close to six nine shooting rats. Yeah, on his farm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I watch a. Uh, I watch a channel on here that's. Uh, it's called FBI or something. They got about two thousand subscribers, but they are on a farm killing rats with a pellet gun. So. I watched that. Hi, Dave's poems. I've had an issue with my phone, so I had Robert's back to your channel, Dave's poems and songs. Yeah. Do the Manila rats wear bandanas like gay colors? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Uh, this time when I was in Manila there for a day or whatever, I didn't see any of the rats, so they might be uh, less less than they used to be now <laughs> or before when, when I was in Manila. Manila was was ugly when I used to first come here, but this last time I was in Manila, I was like, man, I'm, I could be okay in Manila for a short time, you know? It's, it's not too bad that... It, Seems like they've really uh, done a lot to fix it up. Get yourself a BB gun. Oh, sorry, I skipped down. Ace, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. From Eastern Caribbean. Yeah, awesome, awesome. How, how's the weather there? <laughs> I've been to the Caribbean before. It's been many years now, many years ago. I think my second oldest was uh, four or five years old when I was there. Get yourself a BB gun and piss them off, though. Yeah. Yeah, on that, uh, on that channel that I watched, they use it like a high-powered, um, high-powered pellet gun, and it's it's a pretty uh, high-tech deal. They got night sights on that. Sorry about the buffering and stuff. We're on the cell phone, but uh, I'd hate to shoot them in here because it's like a you know it's like a shoot them inside of a box. If I was to miss it. <laughs> Then the BB or the pellet or whatever, just keep going. Ting, 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 ting. I'd be in trouble. Hey, Billy in the Philippines. Nice profile. And you laugh. Yeah. I've always wanted to catch gophers with a fishing pole <laughs> and set it up like a noose around the hole and wait. <laughs> uh, I've had some gophers there at my house back in Indiana. It's uh, weird to see the soft ground after they burrow through it. Off work at Amazon. Awesome here, Billy. Well, it's, uh, I'm guessing it's about, see, it's morning still, so it's 10 something a.m. If I could see, see my time better, I'd, I'd tell you what time it is, but. I'm guessing a little bit before 11. But it's it's probably about 86 degrees out here already. I only have a mild sweat going. <laughs> mild sweat. 
Hey Riley, you got my action camera. Discount at almost or ever how you say that 4K kid. Awesome. Yo, hey, Billy, let me know how you like that. We we have the uh, GoPro, but I don't have the accessories and stuff for it. Uh, we got the GoPro 7 Black is what I had bought. But I find that uh, compared to this phone, um, you can't hear very well with it. Like it's a very muffled sound. Even though I turn up the volume full blast when I'm uh, uploading it, you, you just it's, it's very hard still to hear. So... When you see some of my videos uh, of Thailand right now, and you hear us just talking and stuff, um, we we uh, just have that sound from the GoPro. So, but it's very muffled. But they make a mic or something that you can put on them, but I don't have it. Hey guys, when I connect, I get back. I don't. I will get one added first, later, catch up. Good friends videos that I have, I will. Uh, yeah, Scott X Pratt's a good guy if you guys hook up with him. I won't read his uh, paragraph there. DJI has font screen I like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I like to get an external mic, but... I just can't run down to Best Buy here in the Philippines. <laughs> it's, it's so hard to find anything here. Go into a electronics store and they got hardly anything. Not a very big selection. I've only seen, uh, in Davao, I've seen some uh, for my uh, drone, but they didn't have it. And, uh, They did have, uh, seemed like everything was so expensive though. I don't know. Seriously thinking of buying DJI Pocket? A little spendy though, yeah. Yeah, definitely go online and see how uh, people are rating them. I mean, when I bought the uh, when I bought the GoPro, I I really debated whether to get it or to get the DJI or or what I wanted. I ended up getting the GoPro because it was easy. <laughs> I just bought it at the uh, Best Buy and I had it in hand that night to play with it. And it did most everything that I wanted, except for, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, it's not the cam that I, that I need. But that's why we bought this special phone here that my wife uses. It, uh, we use it for most of our videos and stuff like this now. So. Road video mic compact on camera microphone with Roco yeah shock mount good good use yeah I've I've seen those uh, hillbilly you know that people use and you know they get the little furry sleeve on them the mics I think that would work good for us you know on our GoPro. I like the uh, GoPro, you know, taking it and go underwater and all that stuff, but 
I mean, we've only done that a handful of times, you know, so is it really worth doing all that? Right. But it's been pretty uh, versatile, you know, taking it and throwing it in the luggage and throwing it in the backpack and throwing it. Sorry about the the buffering, but if I had a regular camera, you know, I'd, oh, let me put it up normal, put it up softly. For the GoPro, I just pitch. Yeah. Dave saying I should buy an electrical fence, get an electrical fence for the rats. <laughs> I will show you some of these rat holes around here. But we got, it's, it's weird, they don't, uh, the trash is not like in America, the way they do their trash here. So, you know, you get the trash outside the house, just where the rats can get in it and feast and bad so they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, sorry about all that buffering. Yeah, the only problem killing the rats is the cleanup. Well, I would hope that the uh, cats would eat them if they were, uh, <laughs> if they're already dead. We have two little kittens out back and uh, been hoping they become fierce rat killing machines, but I doubt it. See a blue, a blue snow blind, blind ice scrape microphone works. Everywhere retail price in Australia is eighty-eight dollars. So it's an external mic there. That's what cats were here for. The cats chase the mice and the rats. Then the dogs chase the cats. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of backwards though around here though. The rats are like the kings. They tease the dogs and, you know, the dogs are in their pit. Sorry again about all the buffering. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So you see uh, YT upgraded the MOGs. Did they fix them? No, they were horrible always. I hated to use the ones on there because they were so bad. I have to leave a 10 bill. Okay, Dave. Dave, did you ever get your... Uh, did you ever get it to uh, where you're able to upload some more videos, my friend? I know last we talked, you couldn't upload videos for a while or something. Your brother was having issues with it or, or something to that effect. PJB, yes, my friend, you are uh, really helping us out. We are, we are getting there, we are getting there. I noticed uh, yesterday uh, there was a nice, nice chunk being taken out of my watch hours there and uh we we are under 500 that we need now so we are you know getting so close but what everybody's telling me is once you once you get up there then then yt is going to take some of my watch hours away so i'm trying to get you know past the four four k that they asked for uh, and then submit. And plus, I got a ton of videos I need to release. Uh, you're not supposed to have any uh, private videos or or unpublished videos on your channel. So 
over the next few weeks, I'm going to be putting out a ton of videos, and some of them may be really goofy from <laughs> from early days, but uh, I hadn't released them yet, but I need to release them, so but hopefully you guys uh, take a look. So, you, so Hillbilly, that's the just watching Bill have coffee. Yeah, my friend. Happy Pappy's in the house. Happy Pappy, how you doing, my friend? Sorry, I'm reading off this tablet because that's too far away. <laughs> too small, too far. This is too small, too. I need to show you guys how I really should read about, about here. <laughs> then I'll be able to see good. Oh, man. One of my kittens outside is almost like a squirrel. She'll go up a tree, jump limb to limb like a squirrel while trying to catch a bird. Why? Wow. You got a wild uh, half beast cat there. It's good to hear. Yeah, pre really appreciate that, PJB. Any anybody that can help us out on those watch hours, I really appreciate. And yeah, we're we're head down the long stretch here. The Getting so close to the finish line. I have a new video coming soon, Bill. Reason why I couldn't put it on, my brother got sick. Okay, now he is getting each day. Okay, I appreciate that, Dave. We'll check you out when you uh, put it up there. YT will remove the hours from trolls and bots. Okay. Yeah, I knew, uh, Happy Pappy, that they took some hours away and stuff. It worked well. Went out of town. I just kept them, them play. Hey, appreciate it, my friend. Big E is in the house. Riley is outside. Yep. We're outside. I just had my coffee, so I came outside to uh, enjoy a little bit before it gets too hot. And watch all the rats play. That's what we do out here. See see the rat fight. Happy Pappy, if Rose can use Mike's channel, she should be able to access Mike's PayPal account. Hi, Big E and Sabu from Scott I Scott. PayPal and YT. Should be separate, different passwords, yeah. It should be. PayPal is not a part of uh, YT. Long TV, how you doing? Is it Lee? Long Lee TV? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Big E, me and my wife uh, watched your latest video together. That's an accomplishment right there in itself for us to sit down and watch something together. We watched it uh, this morning while we drank our first cup of coffee, or I, my first anyways. So, and then uh, she went to her channel and put a comment on there. I don't know what she wrote, but I, uh, I wrote something on there. If you guys haven't hooked up with Big E yet, do so. He's got a good video out right now. Talks about dating a Filipina. I'm not sure if Mike had a Patreon account. That should be connected to his Y channel. Rats playing football. Yes, yes, yes. Rats like to play a lot of things here. Chase mostly. <laughs> or hide and seek. 
right over my shoulder is where they like to hang out the most. The the trash cans that you see over here. And I don't know why you would have trash cans that are never closed, but we do. Not my house though. I can't I can't bitch and complain about a lot of things, so but I wouldn't have a trash can that I couldn't close the lid on, you know, if I had it. If I had to just get in there. Got next by T. What is that TSA back, backpack for the laptop and stuff? Yeah. So what's a TSA backpack? I just had a regular backpack, so I, I don't know. Is that a TSA friendly backpack? All you have to do, you know, when you're coming over and stuff, make sure you can take out your laptop out of the backpack but pretty, pretty easily. Cause that's what they'll have you do when you're in the airports and stuff when you're going through but in my uh my backpack i had a lot of electronics <laughs> but i just had an under armor uh backpack that i already had for uh i used it when i was doing real estate and you know i took it to meetings and all that kind of stuff just a if you will, a high schooler's backpack. My neighbors do that, and then the bears get into the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, they leave them open. I don't, I don't understand the concept, bad, bad. But again, not my house, so I don't, I don't try to complain about them and stuff. Except for on here. <laughs> I do all the bitching on here. I just hope uh, my father-in-law and them don't watch my live streams <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh, it has a... Uh, all right, here, Billy. So it's a special, uh, special kind of backpack, huh? <laughs> get a, get a Chihuahua so the grass have a friend to play with. <laughs> oh man, we already got these dogs right here barking. You hear how quiet my dogs are right now? Or well, they're not my dogs, but the dogs are. But as soon as somebody comes around, they are yakety yakety yak. <laughs> but they're nice and quiet right now. It's all good. Good dogs. I like open dumpsters. I mean, I don't <laughs> need permission to dive in them. Yeah. Are you, are you doing a dumpster diving channel there, uh, PJB? I had thought about, you know, if I go back to the U.S., some of the things that I wanted to do was do some dumpster diving. And I had to bring somebody so I could get into the dumpster. I used to do it when I was a kid, collecting cans. My dad take us up to his work. We dig in the dumpster for cans, aluminum scrap, and stuff. But uh, that was way back in the day. But do that, and I want to do some magnet fishing. You guys uh, watch any magnet fishers, fishermen on there? I don't. I'm not really good at fishing. But a big magnet on the end of a rope, I think I could, I think I could catch something, you know. 
and people will be finding all kinds of things that they pull up out of the creek or off the edge of the bridge or the dock. Some people found cars, some people found <laughs> safes, some people found guns. Just never know what you're going to find with one of those magnets. But I figured the worst case scenario, you know, I have a bucket there. And I just pull out the metal and throw it in the bucket and it's less metal pollution in, into the river or the lake or whatever I'm, I'm uh, fishing at. Yeah, the the dogs are, are quiet because they're afraid of the rats, yeah. Well, usually, uh, you know, I said I hear before. Sorry about all the uh, buffering, but welcome to the Philippines. This is how good it gets when uh, live streaming from the cell phone. It's starting to get hot, though. I don't know. Or I am one. <laughs> Magnet fishing looks fun. I bought a big, a big rare earth magnet. And I have done, gone out once. No luck, though. Yeah. Well, make sure, uh, PJB, if you go out, video it, just in case. You know, you can upload it on your channel there, and we'll we'll check it out, see what you found. Even if you find uh, Goofy something, like a license plate or something, you know. Never know what somebody will throw out the window or chuck into a pond or... I know uh, my uncles have been out in a, in a boat and lost their fishing fishing uh, reel <laughs> down to the bottom. But if you had a magnet deal, you could probably get their whole pole and reel back up there. And you know they spent several hundred bucks on that uh, reel and pole and stuff. And it might still work. Who knows? I don't know. Christian, hello, how you doing my friend? Welcome, welcome, sorry I'm so slow reading today. I'm outside with a nice glare and uh... all kinds of distractions. <laughs> Have a lot of distractions out here. Sounds like my gate is open, but somebody didn't put the pin down, so the wind is blowing it a little bit. I have a nice little breeze this morning, so that's that's all. Right. Let's see. I saw last week. I saw a live last week, and in the middle of it, it got kicked off and had to watch an ad. Well, I'm hoping uh, you start watching my ads. <laughs> so, of course, I don't. I'm not uh, monetized, so no ads here yet. But they're coming. Then you guys can watch my ads and give me a penny. Come on. Yeah, the buffering. <laughs> the buffering uh, gets rid of everybody that that's not a loyal viewer, huh? <laughs> well, that's why we do it. <laughs> that's the whole trick. Uh, John Baker, hello, 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 my friend. Welcome, welcome. Metal detecting would be fun, yes. Um, that's what my dad uh, did in Vietnam. He used the metal detector. He had a they had a name for it, but uh, that's what he did. Look for, for uh, landmines and stuff. And uh, we grew up with my dad doing metal detecting back in the day. So we always had a metal detector in the house. So, but he hadn't been out doing it in many years. So, 
But uh, I think it would be fun. I watch one uh, channel uh, there on here. It's uh, uh, Gold. What is it? Gold. Gold Hunting in Israel. That's the channel that, that is uh, friends of ours here. So if you guys uh, want to watch a good metal detector, he's found coins and rings and other stuff when I've been on there. Still seems weird to me recording my everyday activities. Yes, my friend, I I feel you there, but I'm a year into it now, or almost a year, and uh, I'm actually a little more used to it. I mean, we don't video everything that we do, of course, but, you know, so much time that we have a camera uh, video. Sorry about the buffering. But yeah, the boring stuff, or what I think is boring. Like typically, if I came out here and said, I wouldn't bring the camera out to video the rats and the rats and the uh, lizards running around. And the tricycles going up and down the, the street here. But I plan on doing some more walk arounds, uh, live streaming. Uh, but you see what we're going to get. We're going to get a lot of buffering. And, you know, I'm just right here by the house and it's doing it. So I can imagine when I go out and walking, it's going to buffer a lot. Backup cell phone be good to get, Riley. Yeah, um, here you're not going to be able to probably use the cell phone that you have uh, in the America. I mean, you can, but I don't know what kind of uh, cell phone bill you're willing to pay. But I would suggest you buy a cheap cell phone here uh, if you want a cell phone. Uh, buy a cheap one here and have it because. They take the SIM cards here, and your phone's got to be able to use the SIM cards uh, for here to get a load, and it's a whole mess of a thing. But uh, you'll get used to it while you're here. But uh, but you can get a cheap cell phone here that will do the trick uh, while you're here. But uh, I have an iPhone uh, from back home. It's like an iPhone 6 or something like that, but I can't even use it here. You know, it's it doesn't take a SIM, and uh, it's kind of worthless. Unless I keep it hooked up to my network back home, and I had a friend that came here and didn't listen to me. He used his cell phone while he was here for three weeks, and uh, he had an $800 cell phone bill when he got back home. Like, oh, my Roman fee's not going to cost that much. Like, yeah, right. Welcome to the Philippines. A drone, yeah. Uh, I, I bought a drone, and I have it here, and uh, I forgot my battery charger at home. But uh, I got something work, working on that, and uh, should get it pretty soon and be able to... Uh, start uh, flying my drone around but I think it's a good it would be good for here you know if you're gonna be here for a while but they're a real pain in the butt to take with you because you can't put the batteries in the in the luggage you gotta have them in your backpack and take them onto the plane with you and make sure they're not getting hot during the travel and they're big Scott, we'll catch you later, my friend. I see you on down through here. Beauty Touch, hello, hello, my friend. Sorry, I can't make out what the front of your name is. Or too small type. <laughs> it looks blended together. 
Anyways, beauty patch. Hello, hello. Come, let's grow. Okay, yeah. make friends if you like. Real Man Cook is in the house. How you doing, Real Man? What is happening? I've been uh, trying to get to some of your uh, LSs and watch you what, watch you cook the same spaghetti dinner. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I talk to people while I'm on there and stuff. But I come and hang out there for a while, my friend. Like the new setting. Yeah, I'm on the wife's uh, cell phone. So I, we can move around. But we get a lot of buffering this way. So, you know, the goods and the bads. You got the good and the bad. Christian still with I have international unlocked phone. Okay. But uh, just make sure, I mean, I'd test it out before I use it too much because I don't know. I, I try to check with, uh, like I used to be with Sprint and I checked with them before I tried to use my phone and got the actual what would it cost per minute to be on it and it was crazy you know i'm not paying a dollar 65 or something at the time um per minute to be on the phone when you can you know i get a week worth of uh you know service for 120 pesos which is just over two dollars and i don't have that many people calling me anyway so that's why I don't even use the cell phone. I use my wife's cell phone. Give her number and call me here. Or people get a hold of me on Messenger, but eh, whatever. Kind of makes it nice. I'm not strapped down to a phone anymore. It's kind of awesome to me. I mean. How is life in Corona Dust City? My girlfriend wants me to move to Marbell. But here, many bad stuff. Oh, my friend, Christian, it's, uh, there's, there's not, I've not had any problems here in the city. It's, uh, besides being boring, uh, as far as my celeb, uh, you'll look like a, uh, you look out of place and people will stare at you a lot because there's not not many of us here. There's there's a couple foreigners in town here now that live here full time, but but most most of them come and go and you don't really uh, see them see foreigners here that often. But uh, yeah, don't don't listen to the bad stuff because you know just like any other city in the world. You know, you got your bad stuff, but I'm not fighting with the neighbors or anything, so I'm not doing that. You know, it's it's uh, no problems whatsoever here in Corona Dow that I see. Um, and I've been here about a year now, full time. And before, I've never had any issues here. Now, there's some places down here in, in uh, Mindanao that I would tell you definitely don't move to, but... Corona Dow, Marbell here is is good to go. As far as far as I'm concerned, I and I stick out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Read faster, LOL. Type of caps for me. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks, Real Man Cook. Thanks, thanks for uh, calling me out. Yes, I'm blind. I'm blind. What, what can I do? 
Pretty soon I'm gonna have one of those big magnifying glasses. <laughs> Bring it up. Hey. Uh, the Wallace life. Uh, <laughs> I see that beard, beard braiding. Yes. Uh, high and tight. Yeah, that's how I like my hair, but I don't like it long. But my barber here thinks I need long hair on the top to hide my bald place in the back. But he don't know I don't care about having a bald spot. It's just, it's just life. <laughs> How you guys doing? The Wallace Life. If you guys don't know my friend, The Wallace Life, check out his channel. He's always putting up some great stuff. Unlike my stuff, where I be climbing. Did you guys see our video, me and my wife last night? I put up. We were just goofing off, doing that TikTok stuff. I blend. <laughs> Real man cook. Uh oh. I would. We'll see you next time. The Dills living in Bahol, Philippines. Nice morning in the Philippines. The Riley's, yes, it's a good morning so far. It's almost, it's almost over with the morning. And it's, I would say it's getting about, I got a little bit of a breeze. So maybe it's about 87 degrees out here right now. I, I don't know Celsius enough to tell you what that is. Real man cook, high deals, yeah. I drink baking, baking soda and water. If I need to burp, works great and it's cheap, yeah. Is that baking soda? I, I can't read it. it. Looks like baking soda, but. John Baker, how you guys doing? Sorry about all the buffer and even my tablets telling me I'm buffering. Keep hearing a bean too. I don't know if it's coming inside the house. Maybe my wife's in there doing something. Hello, I guess you guys are saying hi to each other. That's all good. 87 equals 30.6 Celsius. Yeah. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for that, happy pappy. Hey, Riley, what's happening? Just got off of re Reno. Thought I'd say hi. Oh, it was Reno. Was Reno live or were you just talking to her, Mike? How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. I used text now when I was in the Philippines. The bro hey, Mike. Hello, Scott. Hello, Mike. Hi, happy. Hi, happy. Happy, pappy. I figured you'll be in bed by now. <laughs> uh, man Cook. Hello from Happy Pappy. Beauty Touch, let's grow together, friends. She's, she's growing. Hi, the Dills. Hello, Dills from, from Mike. Hey, I'm called up, I think. So I'll try to wipe off my glasses again. <laughs> it's not working too good. See a lady just jog past the house. Too hot to be jogging. I've been thinking about doing a live stream where I walk 
and talk. But I just wondered if it would work. The places that I walk here, they play music, so, so that's a bad thing. I don't know how to do it without, uh, I guess I put it on mute or something. Mike watching the season premiere of Seal Team. I've never seen that show. And Real Man Cook is hooking up. It's on CBS. Yeah, I've never seen it either. You guys hear a rooster? I used to when I used to come here. There was a lot of like roosters and chickens running around. But uh, they fenced in the, the the place now, so not as many roosters and stuff come in, which is a good thing. Still get the rats though. Somebody's dog not liking it. <laughs> I may lose his belly, yeah. I figured by now that I'd sweat this fat off being here, but but I uh, but I started started drinking a lot of sugar drinks, so there's some big huge bees flying around here. Just wanna see what they're doing. See it's like they're looking at the vents to go into. Trying to hope that they don't decide to swoop down on me here. When the rooster comes in the yard, put them in the kitchen pot. Yeah. Well, if I could catch him, uh, happy baby. That's what would happen to him. And the neighbors would complain that the root rooster's missing and stuff. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm on this one. Yeah, it's 87. It's definitely too hot to be jogging. Too hot to walk to, yeah. For me, it is. <laughs> but they go over here and you see them wearing their jackets and stuff because it's cool. Drink, drink tea. Oh, I don't like tea. I like the taste of tea. Except for sometimes I can drink some green green tea or something like that. Water. Cold water, yeah. I like cold water. My wife yells at me for drinking cold water, though. She thinks I'm supposed to drink it lukewarm. <laughs> hey, look at that. Scott's back. Scott, he said he was leaving. They are talking to somebody. <laughs> I'm just messing. But so one night to drink nine beers, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I could even drink nine beers. I've I've done uh, since with food, of course. Hey, sorry about the buffer and everybody, but welcome to the Philippines. That's how we roll. <laughs> That's how it be. So you only eat one time a day? That's that's uh mike that's kind of what i've been doing i only maybe once maybe twice a day now is what i do but i need to cut out the rice too so that's coming where i start cutting down on the amount of rice i eat but it's hard not to eat the rice when uh when you're uh 
you know, here, because the rest of the food isn't a lot, so, so you tend to eat more rice and stuff. Try the, oh, here it is. It's only 63 here now. Tomorrow night it's supposed to be in the 30s with a windshield in the 20s. Wow. Welcome to Florida, huh? <laughs> Like somebody's here. Let's see, where did I go? Where did I go? Try a McDonald's diet. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it looks like I've been on. <laughs> McDonald's here is gross, so I do get their nuggets every once in a while. It's gross though. My, my kids like it still, but I do not. Except for their coffee. I try to go get a coffee every once in a while from them. You have an antenna? No, I don't have an antenna. I don't. There's a big satellite dish over here, but it's not hooked up to the internet either, so. I don't, I don't know what kind of internet service this is, but I might, and it's buffering too, so. Let's see, a booster, no. Eat five to eight times a day, but small. Yeah, so, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Here, the culture is to leave the food on the, on the table all day. You cook the food until it gets eaten or, or thrown away or whatever. Kind of weird. Yeah, Riley, Rena says the same thing. Cold water with the ice will give you a sore throat. Yeah. <laughs> The lady that I just seen jogging by, just walked by. This time she had an umbrella in there. But I never seen her go this way. I just seen her go this way twice. Keeps, let's see, keeps the metabolism going. You shut down if you stop eating, okay. It's better to eat a dozen small meals and just one big meal a day. When you skip meals, your body goes into starvation mode. Your metabolism, you don't lose weight. Makes sense, makes sense. All meat and veggies, no rice or starch. That's keto. Yeah, that's uh, The diet, you know, I've never, uh, never been on a diet before. I know it looks like I need to be, but you know, I waste away to nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here for the jokes and the laughs. Let's grow. Let's all support friends. All right, guys. That's what we do. Yeah, appreciate. If you guys are here to grow, that's all good too. Do what you do. Just, uh, you know, I don't read off all the growing stuff. But uh, yeah, have fun. Play. Yeah, Pappy, but with driving, the pretty much impossible, you know. Yeah, I keep a, I kept, kept a snack box of crackers and such behind the seat and munched all day. You know, that's what I would be afraid of, the sitting in the vehicle and bored and uh, would want to, like, keep, 
keep beating myself. She has to go back sometime, yeah. The lady walking around. <laughs> but I don't know, I'd never see her go this way. I've just seen her go this way twice. First time she was running, the next time she was walking with the umbrella. I'm guessing this same lady, she's wearing all pink, so. I don't know if there's two people dressed like that. There she goes. So I've seen her this time, there she is. She probably heard me talking about her. <laughs> Let's see. I only eat one time. Still only weigh 58 kilos. I don't know what the people are doing over there. They're sounding crazy. So, no beer belly? <laughs> Drink the liquor. How tall are you? 170 cm. I know, I know you. Christian, you are slim. You, you have a good LS, Christian. Thanks, real man cook. Nice chill time. Caveman can do it. Hey, caveman, how you doing, my friend? How's uh, Kentucky? Hey, if you guys don't know my friend Caveman, hook out with him. He's been a long time supporter. He's been, been with us from uh, early, early days. Him and his brother, James Gap Gap, you guys check him out. Sorry, I'm lost here. <laughs> small writing, small writing. Can you guys write larger so I can read this? <laughs> yes. Good morning, I got them. I like to chill, SS, hang in there, fast to grow, yes. Liked for family, thank you, thank you, my friend. I'm, I'm a trim 201 pounds, that's what Mike says. I'm, I weigh a couple extra pounds above that, Mike, so, uh, yeah, trim, slim. When I first came to the Philippines, I was a nice, slim 293 pounds. <laughs> fit. <laughs> fit. Fit as fit can be. <laughs> joke. It's a joke. Real man cook. That's what I like. No drama, just chill. Like here with the writers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No sense to be fighting and arguing. I mean, who wants to be on a LS like that where they're fighting and arguing all the time? We can all be grown ups and talk, and people that want to grow can grow, and people that want to chill can chill. We can listen to the roosters together. But it's been amazing. I haven't seen any big rats jumping around since I've been out here. But they're coming. They're probably watching me. I just haven't seen them. The dogs are watching me. See some birds over there normally where the rats hang out. James Gab Gab recently got a strike on YouTube. Can't live stream right now, but Still uploads content, yeah. Yeah, we'll still be there to support them and uh, 
Yeah, if you guys don't know James Guy Guy, also Caveman, get with them. They're great people. They really want to help people and grow and stuff. And uh, I don't know all the, the details of uh, why he got that strike, but uh, it sounds crazy. And uh, it's crazy. So hopefully it gets overturned or something soon so you can get back on here. More I said the S word, yeah. I hate roosters, yeah man, these roosters are going crazy out here today. But they're more crazy if you go to Ruth, Ruth, Ruthie and Arthur's channel. If you want to hear some roosters, go to her channel. Her roosters be going crazy. She got a rooster bigger than me too. She be trying to hold that thing and it's huge. Any, anybody know what I'm talking about? Is Ruthie on here? Yeah, she got a huge rooster. <laughs> roosters eat, eating the rats? No, they, they don't eat the rats. They, but the roosters here be digging in my trash out here when they set out the trash. Like stupid roosters be in there. Roosters and chickens be in there trying to... Uh, uh, Trying to dig in the trash like like they're the rats or cats or whatever. I I wish I was. I wish it was. <laughs> I haven't been that since I got married. My wife used to think I was kind of fat back when I was I was like 220 pounds when we got married, and uh, I said if you think I'm fat now, we'll just wait. <laughs> And I was pretty trim and in shape, and I worked back then, so I was able to exercise a lot. And, you know, I showed her after I got my back hurt, then I got fat and got fatter. You need bobcats there. No, nah, they'd eat these bobcats here. That'd be, that'd be a roasted bobcat night. <laughs> You need a big alley cat to get them. Uh, I haven't seen any big cats. I've seen big rats, but never a big cat here. You got a thumbs down with question? Yeah, I always get thumbs down. I. It's all good though. I like uh, I like the thumbs downs as well. So. I got somebody that when I upload a video, he'll come on and put a thumbs down like. As soon as I get it uploaded, like he's got the bell ring, but it's all good. At least he thinks of me. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, but it will all work itself out. Roosters make the morning a lot better. Yeah, sometimes. Several, several these roosters don't know what time it is. I don't know what the dog is barking about. What are you barking about? What temperature is it there? I think it's about 87 degrees is, is what I'm saying. It might have popped up to 88, 89, something like that. But it's, uh, the Philippines is like this year round. I, I never need a jacket or a coat or anything. It's always short weather and got the old, I wear these 90% of the time. The flippity floppities. Welcome to the Philippines. I go through a lot of deodorant. I shipped myself enough deodorant to last a year, and I went through it in about six months. So I already been buying deodorant. And stuff. Happens. Everyone has to have a hater too. Well, yes. You got to. That's how you know you're doing stuff right, right? You got a few people hating on you. It's all good. I don't like everybody either, so it's like that. I don't. I don't like negativity though. Like the person I think that's my hater. 
he wanted me to get negative with him, and I didn't want to get negative. And uh, then he just started bad mouthing us. And whatever. Like have have fun with that. That's horrible life. <laughs> Yeah. So Abby Pappy saying it's it's not always bad to have the uh, thumbs down. They might not like the video. Yeah, which is which is all good. But what what I notice with my what I call hater uh, Happy Pappy is I just put the video up. He didn't even have a chance to watch it, and he'll he'll come on and I'm saying he is in general. But uh, he'll come on and put a thumbs down real quick. Like, you didn't even watch the video. At least watch it and then hate it. <laughs> or tell me what you didn't like about it. I didn't like because I couldn't hear it. Or I couldn't hear what you were saying. Or I didn't like your music. Or, I, didn't, uh, I didn't like the place you went. I don't like having to watch your fat ass walk around. <laughs> Uh, I seen the sweat dropping from your forehead. I don't like that. You know, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, LOL, true, bro. Yeah, I can't relate to the. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen videos with a dozen thumbs down and a dozen comments, but zero views, yeah. The jealous of life, they're miserable, yeah. Some of them, you, you know, and I don't understand the troll people either, you know. People that are just on trying to, you know, back when we were first doing LSs, you have a lot of trolls coming on trying to make you say stuff and that would get you kicked off of, uh, YT and I think my wife said some stuff before she was trying to pronounce out what they wrote and uh, it was some bad stuff but she said it in her language so I, I don't think YT picked it up yeah well the, the you know the trolls are the people that are you know the way I see it is the people that don't have a life. I mean, they're in their parents' basement and, uh, you know, that's all they do. And, like, why, why would you want to do that? It sounds so, so boring. Try to troll somebody. It's weird. But it's all good. I just hope they, uh, Watch me while they try to troll because I'm gonna time them out or whatever. The trolls are just street bullies, yeah. Well, they're, they're not even street bullies because you know, like, like I've seen some memes say, you know, uh, the, the internet today is, is uh, made a lot more people cocky because they don't get punched in the face for the things that they say, you know, like some of the things that, like. The guy that trolls us, you know, if he said that stuff to me face to face, I'd have done punched him out, you know. And he said certain things about my wife and stuff, I'd have, I'd have laid him out, you know. And I'm not even a violent guy, but you just don't say certain things to people without getting punched, you know. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> he, he tough. Yeah, Riley, they might have a that some automatic program that gives you a thumbs down. Yeah, psychopath. Yeah, as my the guy that I think trolls me is is mentally unstable though. I can tell he has uh, many mood swings and stuff.
But the good thing is, uh, you know, soon when I pass him up, he's already monetized and stuff. And here recently, he's been doing a lot of uh, internet begging, is what I call it. And uh, where he, he comes on live and all he does is ask for donations and tries to get people to give him money. <laughs> like, man, what is this dude doing? So I watch him for a few minutes just to see what he's up to. And I've not blocked him for coming here either. So he'll come here and talk about me and then leave. I've seen it, too. Don't say that about me, Happy Pappy. Oh, Happy Pappy, it's not you. I'm as stable as Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> so who is the blogger that is trolling you? Come on, spill the beans. We can troll him back. <laughs> Philo, how you doing, my friend? The lady that's walking back and forth, she just walking by and by. She don't know how to talk to you. <laughs> that's F R A N K. <laughs> that's not the name of his channel, but that's his name. But he trolls a lot of people. Philo, my friend from Indy, and uh, if you guys don't know my friend Philo, he's got some great videos, does some great live streams, check him out. Is it time? What the? All right, guys, uh, it is time for us to uh, get ready and uh, take our youngest to school. See if I missed anything to need to read. Master, hello, Master Radio. Oh, yeah, we all know Frankie, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a bit jealous of the beard, too. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what it is. He's jealous of the beard. Yeah. Well, PJB and Philo and Mike and Happy Pappy, Real Maker, all you guys, I appreciate you all for being here. Uh, Caveman, thank you for hanging out with us. Everybody that came by today, thank you, thank you. I'm going to try to start doing some more uh, on the go uh, live streams. Uh, hopefully my internet doesn't suck every time, but it's, it's the Philippines. We need something about Indy. Have you seen Bobby Knight looks? He was on YouTube video. Yeah, Bobby Knight is getting pretty old. Yeah, I'm glad he I'm glad he came back to uh, IU though and uh, went to Assembly Hall. I, I'm hoping they'll rename that place after him because they need to. I mean, he built that basketball program and and 
it, it was great in its heyday because of Bobby Knight. Uh, I used to love Indiana basketball back in the day. The chair thrower, yes. And that's that's what, uh, growing up, my dad was always, we, we never missed a game. We always watched IU basketball. So, and then Bobby Knight left and that. Beard can, there you go. <laughs> I already get enough crazy looks, PJB, I don't know. Yeah, he is getting old. He's getting there. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Appreciate you hanging out with us today, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'll I'll release another. Uh, I'll uh, release another vid here. Yeah, the biggest rivals though. Uh, Philo was. Uh, IU and Purdue back in the day. That was the that was the state championship, if you will. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Till next time.